Time to talk about weather and back to that previous story about moving the Rose Parade to Monday might be an unfortunate move. We'll talk about that. The forecast looking challenging for that particular date. Well, when do you take the tree down at home? Mine's still up. So Pismo Pier, you can be up to Richard thinks you got to take them down. But you know, that's Richard. <laughs> Mr. Bob, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's what's going on. You can see all this moisture supply pushing in the state. We code the amount of rain likely to be falling out of the sky by color on these radar images. So you see all the light greens here. This is really light activity in some cases. Maybe not all of this is even hitting the ground yet. However, this moisture supply is going to be in the area for a while. It's pushing in tonight. It's going to be around tomorrow. We don't have great dynamics, a cold front, warm front passing to the north here as we go into tomorrow evening. But you can still see all of this material moving through the upper atmospheric supply. So here's what's happening as we get into Saturday. Friday, not much of a break, an imperfect break. It's going to be cloudy, mist drizzle, light showers are possible essentially through Friday as well. As we get into Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon into early evening, this front passes through the area. It should be by us before we get to the new year, but it's going to be awfully close. LA and down south, completely different picture, going to be pretty active right around the time the ball drops. Now, what's interesting, after that, more systems stacked up here. It looks like high pressure is out there, but everything is going to be moving quickly through this pattern. It's very progressive moving forward. So there you can see our modeling just indicating generally light activity, but persisting light activity. Even into Friday, you see the supply and the southwesterly flow here. Uh, again, it's all going to add up through time. So just into Friday morning, we're looking at light to about a quarter. But if we had the rest of Friday and that system for New Year's Eve, now we've got a half an inch to an inch and a half. And this is just a taste test because the rest of the area will continue to get into on that activity as well. Bay Area, Monterey, and especially the mountains going to get soaked. We're also talking about feet of snow. This is Thursday. This is Friday. Now we get into the New Year's Eve storm. That's where we're really going to pile on a few feet here. Kirkwood could see up to 65 inches of snow by Sunday. Already advisories in place for the San Joaquin and Monterey County. We're right next to them. We We've received similar amounts of rainfall, so could we see an advisory? Sure. Waves 10 to 14 feet. That advisory extended into six tomorrow. This is the latest modeling, okay? So yes, the New Year's Eve system, well forecasted. Monday the second, again, this is why the Rose Parade could see some rainfall. Timing is going to be critical there. Wednesday the fourth, we're starting to see some rainfall. Pretty significant system lurking. It arrives on the fifth, sixth rain as well. 7th, 8th, 9th, again, rain probably more likely in the 9th. The 11th, heavier rain here. A series of strong systems being predicted tonight by the American GFS model. So anywhere between 2 and 7 inches of rain is possible through the 12th. Here's how it happens. I'm going to step out of the way here. This is a La Nina year, but this is more of an El Nino pattern. You see all this yellow and red. That's the atmospheric river. Watch how surge after surge heads to California here throughout this forecast. Some of it comes up from the southwest. Some of it's kind of due westerly, but it's surge after surge combined with those areas of low pressure hitting us at the same time. That's why some of these models are really big. Climate Prediction Center not taking this lightly either. You can see their prediction through the 11th here is for above average. In fact, it's essentially the bullseye right here on the Central Coast and in California. Stay with me. I got you covered. Uh, I'll talk you through the twists and turns day by day here as the forecast looks to get active. So 40s and 50s overnight with daytime highs tomorrow in the 50s to about 60, maybe slightly warmer to the south as these frontal boundaries get there later. Extended forecast again Thursday, Saturday, in likelihood times for rain. Can't really turn it off on Friday completely. And then next week, we're kind of going with the broad brush and kind of putting it in more often than not because the pattern looks very active. Back to you.